this guy says the horse can do if he says the horse can do. Welcome to Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. The sixth week in the 100th anniversary NFL season is underway. The Giants lost on Thursday night to the New England Patriots. The Giants did show some promise and did show some holes in that vaunted New England Patriots defense. If the Giants don't turn the ball over four times and have a punt blocked and return for a touchdown, they're right in that game. They were minus two in the turnover ratio. Buys this week, the Buffalo Bills, one of the best defenses in the National Football League, have a bye with that great 4-1 and one start, their only loss coming to those New England Patriots. The Bears coming off a big loss in London to the Oakland Raiders. Both teams coming out of London have a bye this week. What a great job by the Raiders. The Colts, speaking of great jobs, what a tremendous job of running that football down Kansas City's throat and beating the Kansas City Chiefs last week. They have a bye. We've got some great matchups this week. When we come back, I'll tell you all about it. This guy says the horse can do if he says the horse Welcome back to Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. Week six of the National Football League season is underway. Thursday night game, Giants and New England. But I'm going to tell you, the Carolina Panthers are traveling to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Kyle Allen, quarterback, 3-0. and Christian McCaffrey, stud. I tell you, Coach North Turner and his crew are doing a great job of finding ways to move that football. And that defense, that defense of the Carolina Panthers is as tough as they can be, tough as they come. And Tampa Bay is down two offensive linemen, as are the Carolina Panthers, but they've been playing down two offensive linemen over the last several weeks. I like Carolina in that game, minus one and a half. The New Orleans Saints, home, big home win against Tampa Bay last week are traveling down to Jacksonville. Jacksonville needs this football game. They're going to run the ball well against the Saints. I think the Teddy Bridgewater experiment, well, the Teddy is not an experiment. The Teddy Bridgewater project is going to take a hit this week. I like Jacksonville minus two and a half to win at home this week. Next game, San Francisco 49ers. Big game. We're going to the Rams. San Francisco, the only other undefeated team besides the New England Patriots, are down both starting tackles, Joe Staley, McGlinchey. They're also down their fullback. Mm. Todd Gurley's out. Taliba out for the Rams. The Rams need this game, minus three. I like the Rams at home in that particular game. The Seahawks also down two offensive linemen, Fluker and Brown. They travel to Cleveland. Russell Wilson is Russell Wilson is playing lights out right now. I like Seattle to go to Cleveland. Cleveland just can't find themselves, and I think Seattle knows who they are. When we come back, I'm going to show you why I like my pick of the week this week, the Minnesota Vikings, to beat the incoming, the incoming, the traveling in, Eagles, the birds, Minnesota Vikings, minus three. I'll show you why when we come right back. This guy says the horse can do. Well, welcome back to Odds and Ends with Mike Tyson. Yeah, my pick of the week are those Minnesota Vikings at minus three at home. U.S. Bank Stadium against the very talented Philadelphia Eagles. But the Vikings are too loaded, I think, on defense for them. Linville Joseph, Everson Griffin, Daniel Hunter, Anthony Barr, Harrison Smith, just to name a few on offense. Stephon Diggs, uh, you talk about the quarterback. Not playing well. Played well last week. You have Adam Thielen, who called out the quarterback and then came to have a great game. And then you're not even bringing up guys like the running back, Dalvin Cook, and the tight ends. Two really good tight ends, Rudolph and Irv Smith Jr. So the Minnesota Vikings, in my opinion, have too much talent. Let me show you a few plays why the Minnesota Vikings will come out on top this week. A lot of reasons to like the Vikes this week. Minus three over the Eagles. I'm taking the Vikes. Look at Anthony Barr, 55. Players make plays. Excellent job on the game. 97, great push, Everson Griffin. The right side right here, Brian O'Neill and Josh Klein, who's out this week. This is, this is Alexander Madison. That's not even Dalvin Cook. Down in the low red zone, watch right here, Adam Thielen in the slot. An inside fade, great pocket. Touchdown, Minnesota Vikings. That run is going to get this hard play action. Look at those linebackers. 
Adam Thielen coming back across the grain. Great finish here and an excellent job by the guy that called out the quarterback, and that's what you get. You get all the balls thrown to you. Backed up, the Giants, well, too much. Anthony Barr and Harrison Smith, 22, are just too much for the Giants right here. And here's a safety, great timing. The right guard, 70, is confused, and you can't let the guy go in the A-gap, and that's a safety right there. Well, Dalvin Cook, he can run it, and now we're getting him involved in the screen game, the Vikings are. Dalvin Cook down the right side for a big explosive gain. Another way to get him the ball, one of your best weapons. We come back here, and there's an excellent job on the pass rush by a whole lot of guys. And when you get to the end zone, you'll see 99, Daniel Hunter. You'll see 95, Afedi Odomenegbo, and they're coming through. There's about three other guys in there, and this is a jailbreak, and this is just great pass rush and great defense. You know, come back here, Dalvin Cook, don't forget about him. Here he is. Here's the guy that makes it all happen. 64, Josh Klein, 75, Brian O'Neill, and 19, Adam Thielen, out there blocking. Great gainer down the right side. And let's finish it off down here in the low red zone. No, you're not scoring on us. Daniel Hunter, 99, 54, Eric Kendricks with the pressure. Sack. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Odds and Ends with Mike Tice. Don't forget to tune in each Friday for our podcast, Odds and Ends with Mike Tice, on Apple, Spotify, Google. I'll tell you, big week six in the National Football League. Recap, I like Carolina. I like Jacksonville. I like the Rams. I like the Seahawks. And I love can the Vikings do. this week. We'll this talk guy to you next says week the horse can on Odds do. and Ends with Mike if Tice. If he says the horse can do.